so we head our way into the second senior Rotax final of the weekend here at Adria Karting Raceway. Let's have a look at the starting grid. Callum Bradshaw will look to make it a double here in Italy as he starts from pole position alongside him will be Luca Lystra from Belgium. Row two, it's Zombor Kovac and Mark Kimber with Sean Butcher and Lachlan Robinson alongside each other on row number three. Linus Henson and Oscar Pellemele ran out row four with Felix Jansson and Hungary's Benedek Vida running out the top ten. Then it's uh, Zalbor Slantos from Hungary and Andrei Petrovic running out the top twelve ahead of Ehad Turka, Elie Galvanin, Enzo Kadahas, Tom Bilou, Ethan Farhamon, Zino Kovac, Teddy Clinton and George's Alexander Abkazava rounding out the top 20. Now a hit and Artur Hosch complete row uh, 11 ahead of uh, Julian Bud uh, Budi Kolahov, Lewis Gilbert, Theo Eriksson, Nick Cuppens, Arvid Rosen, Luna Blum, Mario Sidler, Benedict Sabo, Tobias Poczik, Patrick Donica, Christian De Klein, Simon Gaspard, Matteo Pianizola and Patrick's Lock Mellis. So that is your starting order for final two. Now this is where things again go up another level in terms of intensity. 18 rows, 36 road, senior row tax drivers and it's going to be filled with adrenaline. The goosebumps already there, the hair standing up on everybody's necks as we all wait for the lights to go out here in Adria. So. They head into the tram lines. The revs rise. Are we ready? Are we steady? Lights out and they are off and racing. As Callum Bradshaw gets the initial hole shot going into turn one first. But now Lystra has been passed. Now I think that could be... Maybe Sean Butcher's made his way up into second position. It looks like he has done so. Uh, Linus Henson up a little bit further in the order as there is drums for one of the carts going into turn five and that is the 337 Artur Hosch looking at the back right axle of that cart his cart is done he cannot get any further up the road and his weekend has come to an abrupt grinding halt but Callum Bradshaw now has Sean Butcher with him Luca Lystra Zombor Kovac, Mark Kimber, Linus Hansen, Lachlan Robinson and Felix Jansson as it's a scrabble to get into turn one as Lystra looked up the inside of Butcher but Butcher was having absolutely none of it and uh, Elia Galvan in up to 13th already having started 14th on the grid had a five second front fairing penalty in the previous race did the Italian as there is the move from Zombor Kovac that has got him past Luca Lystra, but that's allowed the door straight away to be opened for Mark Kimber. And uh, there is Henson, Robinson, and Jansson. A few other positional changes. Alexander Abkazava up to 22nd behind Tobias Poshek, as they've got past Theo Eriksson and Julian Bodek Olahov. As Lewis Gilbert has also tumbled, so I'm wondering if he's had a drama to forget as well. He's running in sector two, so Artur Hoshi is going to be the first confirmed retiree of this race. But the gap between Bradshaw and Butcher, just over two and a half tenths. As there is the battle for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then some. Robinson trying to get past Henson. Now those two were at loggerheads last time out in the last fight, the second final at Carlton Genk. But now things are closing up because Bradshaw's not getting away. And there goes Ehmad Turka. I think that was on Benedek Vida. And Elia Galvan is also trying to get in the action as well. But it is very, very close indeed. Robinson trying to get past Henson, but he's having to make a, de a decision to defend against Felix Jansson and Oscar Pelamele or go up against Linus Henson. And now Robinson's made that choice. But the way that his front bumper was tucked into the rear bumper of Linus Henson in the 3-3-4. They come out of the final corner. Absolutely hurtling their way across. Sean Butcher 
is going toe to toe, lap time for lap time against Sean, uh, against Callum Bradshaw. So Sean Butcher wants to get a race victory under his belt on finals day, and that will boost his confidence and motivation to go for the title this year. No end. As there goes Lachlan Robinson up the inside of Lena Sensen for sixth position, and that opens the door for those behind, which included Felix Janson. But Lena Sensen says, "Oh no, you don't, sunshine. I'm sorry, you're not coming through. Not on a month of Sundays." But a good tactical choice there from Lachlan Robinson to uh, go up the inside of turn five. And that's a pretty good, that's a pretty sweet overtaking spot. Ten minutes and 40 seconds still to go. Lewis Gilbert, unfortunately, his race didn't even get past the first lap either. So down to 34 drivers, Arthur Hosh and Lewis Gilbert. Unfortunately, their weekends have ended abruptly on the very first lap of this race. Still 34 runners and riders. Matteo Pianitola rounding out the 34 of them. As we go to this battle here, and in the middle of that, you've got Elia Galvan, and you've got Ehad Turka, and also Felix Janssen, who's trying to scarper away. Oscar Pelmele looks to have uh, looks to have gotten past uh, Felix Janssen in the process, as now Lachlan Robinson is starting to power away from Lena Sensen. Now he's trying to go after Mark Kimber, and he's just about a tenth of a second off of the pace from the 357, but Elia Galvan in knows the track like the back of his hands as the 371 and now has put in the fastest lap of anybody 50.822 as now Bradshaw is starting to pull away from Butcher and Kovac Mark Kimber is still trying to get his way past Luca Lystra but it's half a second between uh, the duo in fourth and fifth and Lachlan Robinson has started dropping the hammer the Dubai base driver down in sixth position has just put in a 50.841. And that is just under two tenths shy of the fastest lap set by Callum Bradshaw. But that means that Robinson is going to try and go toe to toe with Mark Kimber. Nine minutes and ten seconds still remaining. Patrick Slokmelis has got past up with Rosen for 29th position. Nick Cuppens up to 24th ahead of Julien Baudet Kolahov from France. El Elia Galvanen has now got up into 10th position ahead of Erhard Turka. But now Zombor Kovac has gotten past Sean Butcher. And Butcher now coming into the clutches of Luca Lystra on that particular occasion. Butcher's pace was a 51-1 and Kovac and Lystra are in the high 50.6s and Robinson has just gone 50.587 has just set the fastest lap of anybody. And now is right up close with those in front. So this is where things get interesting, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, because now there is a fight and it's being brought to those up in front. So Bradshaw started to get away from Lystra ever so slightly. Well, it was like, like well, from, uh, from, it was from Butcher, but there's Zombra Kovac. And now there's eight minutes still to go in this race. Anything can happen in motorsport, and pretty much it normally does. But Luca Lystra has gotten past Sean Butcher for what is now third place. So driver Louis Coma, Louis Coma, please report to the stewards immediately. Driver 204, Junior Rotex, Louis Coma from France, please go to the stewards immediately. And now... I see that there has been a little bit of a change because Lachlan Robinson has got past Mark Kimber and now is starting to stride forward. As you can see there, a bit of a dueling between the likes of the 347 of Erhard Turka, the 346 of Benedek Vida, and also in that mix looks to be the likes of Elia Galvanin and Felix Jansson. Bradshaw still leads, but by less than three quarters of a second. Zombor Kovac in second position ahead of Luca Lystra. Then you've got Sean Butcher. Lachlan Robinson now up into P5 ahead of Mark Kimber. And is starting to close in on those in front. And out of the top six, Robinson was the quickest of them. 50.641. Oscar Pelmele, Elia Galvanin, Linus Henson and Felix Jansson round out the top ten positions as Ehad Turka looks to have made another positional gain well, looks to be battling away with Enzo Cadahas as there is a bit of a wide moment there for one of the drivers, and that will have been uh, Benedek Vida. And now the floodgates have opened because as a result of that, 
Uh, that looks to be Enzo Caldejas. That's had a bit of a moment there, and that's allowed the likes of um, Ehad Turka uh, to get ahead, and that would also include the likes of maybe Andrei Petrovic, which has happened. So now the battle up at the front of the field. There is a move from Luka Leister up the inside of Zombov Kovac. Now here comes Sean Butcher, and then you factor in Lockie Robinson, then Mark Kimber. It's a five-way scrap for second position, and whilst this is happening... What they really need to do is not battle amongst themselves. They need to go after Callum Bradshaw. He's only just under nine tenths of a second up the road. And sometimes you try saying that to a driver saying, look, work together with these people. Get pushing forwards. A driver will always have an ulterior motive. But the thing is, if one of them can start pushing and get past the opposition in front, they're the ones that need to be released. And to go after that one that has got the target on the back of their race overalls and that person is Callum Bradshaw but he's starting to get away Luca Leister's just gone and put in a personal best of a 50.661 but this now means that these drivers have got to push like crazy now the move for third happens between Sean Butcher and Zombor Kovac Lachlan Robinson now starting to gather momentum keep your eyes on Mark Kimber just behind the 326 from KR Sports. And now this is really starting to allow Luka Lystra to get away. And oh, Zombo Kovac goes wide and bumps over the sausage curbs. And that's allowed the floodgates to open for Butcher, Robinson and Kimber. And that has got to be something that has really smarted. And that is not going to be the most pleasant thing because that kind of shockwave goes right through your coccyx. And that's the, that's the, the, the bone at the bottom of your spine. And Zombor Kovac is not carrying on after that one. Oh my goodness, that is a really bad way for your race to end. He'll be in some discomfort, but the main thing is he's managed to get that cart to the, to the pre-grid. But for what is now third position, the gloves are off. It's Butcher versus Robinson versus Kimber. But when you look at it from this perspective, and I'm trying to look at this from a positive slant here, that maybe Luca Lystra could get caught by the three behind if they start picking up the pace. But Lystra and Bradshaw have also picked up the pace, and Bradshaw has just gone five one thousandths quicker than Lachlan Robinson's best effort of a fifty point five eight two. So it just goes to show that uh, Bradshaw might have just been keeping a little bit extra in reserve, like he's been doing all weekend, and has managed to use it to his opportunity. As now we see the battle for third really start to implode. And one of the things is, is that Sean Butcher and Lachlan Robinson are teammates. And then they've also got uh, Mark Kimber just behind. So it's about who decides to play the uh, the old poker face game. You know, don't give, don't put all your cards on the table at the same time. Just, tea, you know, give people an understanding that, oh, well, I might do this or I might do that. These drivers will be thinking about different situations through multiple times through every single second. And there's a problem for the 373. Francis Tombilou, who goes off of the track, coming out of turn five. The left-hand 180-degree hairpin. But now we have less than three minutes to go for the senior road tax division this weekend. Callum Bradshaw has gone in and put a 50.472, but Elliot Galvanin on cue, the Italian, has just put in the fastest lap of this race. And uh, at the moment, Galvanin running in sixth, way behind uh, Mark Kimber to the tune of the best part of one and a half seconds but there you see uh, Lystra Robinson uh, well with Butcher in the middle and there is Mark Kimber trying to get past but a solid result for these drivers the title won't really come into prominence when until we leave Muzen and head to Wackersdorf in early September but at the moment the title fight has been slightly having a paradigm shift because now it looks like the advantage is going to go to Callum Bradshaw uh, because Mark Kimber took a double victory last time out at Genk. He took 13 points in the uh, second, in the first final and he's on course to take another 11, which would put him at uh, a total of 74 points. But then Callum Bradshaw with, nine, with uh, 90 to his credit would go to the top of the, uh, top of the standings. Who would be in third position? Well, I'll have to work that one out a little bit later on, my <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But I think that it could be very, very close. It might be that Robinson might still be third in the standings come the end of this race, race weekend. 
but once everything has been tabulated and ratified, we will let you know via our relevant social media channels. So we've had Tom Bilu retire and Zombod Kovac after that nasty incident with the sausage curbs going through the double left hander before the right hand hairpin at turn 10. But we head into the last 60 seconds. Callum Bradshaw on finals day has definitely brought the firing squad to the rest of the opposition and has decided to fire his warning shot across the bow and has said, well, I, you might think that the, F, the, the title of FIA World Karting Champion is just in text. Well, this is how you work, uh, people, and that has been proven in spades. And to have a gap of nearly one and a half seconds, Luca Leister and Sean Butcher kept Bradshaw honest very early on in this final but they have all fallen like uh, they've all been swept across like water under the bridge here as Bradshaw goes on to the 17th and penultimate lap of this race. Lystra still in second and now is nearly a second ahead of Sean Butcher with Lachlan Robinson, his teammate from KR Sport just behind. Mark Kimber rounding out the top five. Elia Galvanin, Oscar Pellemele, Linus Henson, Felix Jansson, Erhard Turka rounding out the top ten with Teddy Clinton. Andrei Petrovic, Benedek Vida, Zino Kovac, Ethan Faramond rounding out the top 15 provisionally as we speak. And those 15 drivers will score points in the championship standings. But then we go back to this little battle here. You've got the 6-0-2 of Zabog Slantos with the likes of Tobias Poshik. Uh, Enzo Calderhas now this is battling away over 16th position and Poshik trying to go side by side with the French driver. Oh, it gets a bit nasty there. Oh my goodness me. But the final lap board comes out for... Callum Bradshaw, who now has 1.6 seconds of an advantage in his pocket. Elia Galvan in fastest lap of the race on the penultimate tour. 50.315 for the Italian in the 371. But Callum Bradshaw has done everything right. Not put a foot wrong. And again, oh, there's been more problems there. And that was Tobias Poshik being turned around by the 395 of Norway's Theo Eriksson. So disasters for Poshik at the end of this race but we turn our attention now Callum Bradshaw from the United Kingdom the 358 comes out of the final corner he cruises to the checkered flag it's a double win for Bradshaw on finals day here in Italy Leister in second Butcher in third Robinson fourth Kimber in fifth place Elia Galvanin who started down in 14th after the front fairing penalty dropped him five seconds down the grid after final one recovers to finish in six ahead of Oscar Pellemele, Linus Henson, Felix Jansson, Erhard Turka, Teddy Clinton, Andre Petrovic, Benedek Vida, Zino Kovac and Ethan Fahamond rounding out the top 15 and those provisionally at the moment score points until the uh, the conclusion of any judicial and sporting and technical matters post race 16th was Enzo Caldahas, Christian Decline in 17th ahead of Zabox uh, Lantos, ahead of uh, Julian Bode, Kola Hoff, Alexander Abkazava, Bende Zabo, Noah Hip, Patrick Donica, Tobias Poshik, Theo Eriksson, Nick Cuppens, Simon Gaspard, Patrick Slokmelis, Mario Sidler, Ovid Rosen, and Luna Blum being the last of the 31 finishers with no uh, with a, a retirement from Tom Bilou, Zombor Kovac, Matteo Pianizola. Arthur Horsch and Lewis Gilbert. But it looks like Callum Bradshaw leaves Ad Adria as the senior Rotax standings leader.